Hello, Internet, and welcome to my live reaction for Boruto Chapter 32. Uh, when we last left off, Naruto vs. Delta was really the entire chapter. Um, Naruto feigned a weakness in an attempt to get some information out of Delta, but that didn't work. Uh, Delta, like, absorbed his Rasengan and shot it back to him at one point. Uh, we see how much fear uh, Kawaki has for Delta and the other inners. Um, that's really all we... All there is to say about last month's chapter, it was a great fight, but like it was not a whole lot to comment on. So jumping right on into chapter 32, A Sense of Duty, uh, our cover our cover, cover page uh, is Delta and Naruto facing off the climax. What will be the unforeseen situation? A cover color and 41 pages for this climactic fierce battle. Or it actually says climatic, but I'm assuming that's a typo because I don't think this fight has anything to do with the climate. But maybe it will. I do know, um, I remember reading somewhere uh, that while in, like, English usage, climax uh, refers to, like, the, like, the peak excitement, but not the very end. Climax, when it's in the Japanese usage, does mean the very end. The fight will probably end this chapter, I'm imagining, uh, with all that climax stuff. Anyway, jumping right in. Uh, we open right where we left off. Naruto and Delta are trading blows. Uh, Naruto versus Delta. Neither of them will budge an inch. Uh, and Delta goes for a punch, but Naruto dodges it. Uh, but Naruto did not dodge that one, as Delta strikes him across the face, and he's sent, like, falling, or sent flying. But he catches himself, and, like, flips up into a kick, uh, that does hit Delta. Uh, but Delta also catches herself, and jet boots away, uh, and then falls back down on Naruto. Uh, and Naruto barely dodges that attack. Um... And Delta does not let up, going for another kick, uh, with a Shadow Clone? Does she Shadow Clone herself? Because there are two Deltas there. There are now four giant legs chasing Naruto. Uh, I'm assuming she did a Shadow Clone somewhere, but we didn't see it, so maybe, maybe it's part of her, uh, her absorbing eye thing we saw last, last month. Uh, but Naruto gets out of Rasen Shuriken. Yotan! Uh, lava, lava style! Rasen Shuriken! And he sends the Lava style Rasen Shuriken... Uh, that he got from the Four Tales, right? During the Fourth Ninja War, I want to say. Anyway. Uh, and I think it kind of, like, severs the giant legs, causing, uh, only the original Delta to, like, barely dodge, I'm guessing. Yeah, we see that, like, her legs are, like, chopped off right below the knees, but they quickly grow back at their more, like, human, uh, length. Uh, she lands on the ground, facing off against, um, Naruto. Her body was reconstructed with scientific ninja tools. No matter how wrecked her arms and legs might get, she can simply regenerate them. I wanted to strike her torso with a bold move, but if I hit her head on, there's a big chance that she'll absorb it. What should I do? Uh, and Delta just, like, stares at him. Uh, and finally, we have the peanut gallery, uh, the Uzumaki siblings and Kabuki. Damn it! We can't use Jutsu and we don't have a trump card! Somehow we gotta catch her off guard! Uh, and Kabuki turns to him. You idiot. Stop overthinking things. You asshole! This isn't, this isn't a place to be getting cold feet! The Hokage told us not to get involved. Do you not understand what he meant? If we get in the way, he can't go all out. Uh, and that takes Boruto off guard. But Dad's only going on the defensive. If we cooperate, we could divide the enemy's attention and... What a naive bastard. Actually, the one who is currently taking the lead in this battle is the Hokage. It's almost as if they were ballroom dancing. Huh? Uh, and we see that Naruto dodges another kick from Delta. He's leading Delta around so her, her attacks won't come flying towards where we are. And he's even doing that while looking for a chance to throw in a jutsu. Uh, Himawari is now like paying a special attention after Kawaki's words. The point is, he can afford to do that. In other words, the true strength of Hokage completely surpasses Delta's. Oh, that's my boy Naruto! Uh, also, I do love how, like, believable Naruto's handicap here is. Like, it would be really boring if Naruto just, like, took out Delta in, like, a heartbeat. Uh, so, like, it makes sense there's some kind of, um, some kind of handicap, uh, for Naruto here. Also, if Naruto could not, was, like, was much weaker than the Inners, it would never be believable that Boruto would ever be able to beat the Inners, uh, without many, many, many years of training. Um... Um, but, like, because we, his handy, he both has a handicap, which explains why he's not, which allows, allows that kind of gap you have to deal with that I mentioned. Uh, and that is believable. He wants to, like, make sure Delta's not attacking the kids. Uh, it just, it just works really well. Uh, the Boruto manga, the Boruto manga is really good. 
I've said it before, I'll say it a thousand times, especially once the fight scenes come, the manga is phenomenal. At this rate, Hokage ought to win, as long as there aren't any unnecessary interferences. Kawaki, you just jinxed it! You fucking jinxed it, there's gonna be something weird showing up in any second now. Um, Boruto watches uh, as both Delta and uh, Naruto back, like, jump away from each other, and they both land on their feet. Uh, and Delta... Delta looks not too hot right now. Uh, Naruto... Naruto's a little beat up, but, like, he has been fighting for a good while. He's doing fine, though. He's doing fine, though. Um, well done. Just as I expected of you. To have such high-level combat abilities on top of having regenerative powers. You truly are extraordinary. Well, thanks. Now that you're aware of that, won't you obediently surrender to me already? Uh, and Delta, like, just stares at him. Well... I guess I could also choose to do that. And she shoots some, like, laser beams out of her eyes? Uh, Naruto barely gets out of the way. Gah! Jumps up. And the explosion behind him blasts Naruto forward. That's dangerous! Shh! If only I had aimed a bit better. What just happened? Such outrageous power! Uh, and Kawaki responds, That attack. What's terrifying about it isn't just its power. Eh? Huh? That was a destructive beam of light that was developed to be used primarily against those with regenerative powers. The cells die off and crumble away when a part of the body gets hit by it. So even if you had a body like mine or the Hokage's regenerative powers, you wouldn't be able to heal. Oh, that is dangerous. Okay. Uh, and Boruto like a stares. That's... What a scary technique. We're back with uh, Naruto and Delta. It'd be pretty bad if I took a clean hit from that. But... It also looks like it consumes as much chakra as an advanced technique, so you can't use it recklessly, right? And Delta just, like, glares at him. She's a little more exhausted than she was before she used that jutsu. Well, unfortunately, you're right. But I don't care, since I only need to land one shot. Even though your surprise attack just now is pretty scary, you won't startle me again. It's impossible with your depleted chakra. Well, then, I wonder what I should do. And she leaps at Naruto, and Naruto, like, tenses up. Ready to fight. Uh, and she throws a punch. Naruto blocks it. Or grabs it with his hand. Uh, Naruto counters. But Delta dodges. Uh, and Delta gets in another kick on Naruto. Uh, and she like goes for him with her hand again. And I think punches him to the ground there. Uh, but Naruto is still able to. I think. It doesn't look like in this last panel on page uh, 23. That Naruto has actually hit her. But she, it looks like she's moved out of the way a little bit. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, and what? So Naruto has gotten out of the way. There's a puff of, like, smoke or something. Uh, and then Boruto says, ah! And then Naruto is back on the offensive with a kick there. I uh, can't quite tell what's going on right there. Uh, maybe he, like... I don't know. It looks like on page 25, we see a little, a little bit of a crater there. I'm not sure what happened, though. Uh, God. And, uh, Delta's in a bit of pain. Uh, Naruto, I think, throws something at Delta? Uh, but Delta jumps away. Um, I don't know what he threw, though. I don't know. Dad! Uh, and Delta just stares at him. All right. If I keep making your way some more shots and deplete her chakra. Oh! Oh, I see what happened. She... Okay, yeah, I'm following now. Okay, so what this bit with her like leaning in a weird way is her aiming her la her eye lasers, and then she fires, but Naruto barely gets out of the way, and then he gets up to kick, uh, and then I think she fires another laser again, and Naruto dodges it, I think, and then she jumps back. Dad, uh, all right. If I keep making her waste more shots and deplete her chakra, I'll be able to create an opening to hit her with a Rasengan. Uh, and Delta, like, jumps at him again. You cunning old geezer! Uh, and she starts punching him, and Naruto's blocking. Uh, and she gets a good hit, good hit, another kick in that sends Naruto to the ground. Ugh! Die! And she uh, charges up another one. Dad! And we see Boruto's Kara start to activate. And Boruto starts a Rasengan. Uh, and Kaoki notices, Oi! Don't be an idiot! Rasengan! And he throws the Rasengan. Uh, and Delta notices notices him. Boruto? Hmm. What were you thinking? Uh, oh, she doesn't know about the Vanishing Rasengan, of course. It's a Vanishing Rasengan. Go ahead and absorb it if you can. Uh, and she feels it coming towards her. I see. 
So it's an invisible attack, eh? Oh, she still has the drone watching. I guess the drone can see the chakra. Oh, yeah, because we see the drone is, like, following the Rasengan. Over there, eh? And she absorbs the vanishing Rasengan. Uh, Boruto looks on in shock. Too bad, kid. Sorry. And she lunges at Boruto uh, and strikes Boruto. He's sent flying. Damn it! And Naruto chases after her. Uh, Kaoki also looks concerned. Thanks to you, I've come up with a good idea. I appreciate the help. And she grabs Himawari. Oh no. What? And Naruto is now like running at her. Uh, and she tosses Himawari into the sky. Hima! Uh, Kaoki is also looks very concerned. And she's helpless in the air. And, and Delta smirks. Look, if I do this, there's no way I'll miss, right? And she fires her beam. No. No, no, no. Shit! Hima! And Naruto jumps up to... Is this, is this how Naruto bites it? Papa! And Naruto reaches for Himawari. And there's some kind of explosion. Dad! Hima! And the sm there's smoke. No way. And Delta, Delta looks on, you know, um, satisfied. And there's something in the smoke. Delta notices it. And it's Kawaki. Kawaki's jumped in, and he's lost his right arm. It won't regenerate again, we know. Uh, what? Kawaki? Uh, Kawaki falls. Gah! Arg! And he falls to the ground. Kawaki! You sacrificed your own body for me and Himawari? Uh, and Delta, like, is utterly confused. Impossible. Why would Kawaki do that for these jerks? And Boruto runs at him. Kawaki! Sorry, this is my fault. And Kawaki uh, looks at Boruto. If the Hokage had been hit, it would have been over for us. Either way, it couldn't be helped. And Himawari runs at him. Kawaki! Well, anyways, regarding that flower base, with this we're even, Boruto. You stupid bastard. What are you saying at a time like this? Uh, and Delta's now even angrier. Every last one of you are shitheads. How much do you need to piss me off until you're satisfied? Next time, will Delta get even more livid? The tumultuous spiraling battle is heading toward, towards its final phase. The next chapter will be published in Weekly Shonen Jump number 17, which releases on March 25th. The latest is Jump Comics Volume 7, which is super popular and now on sale. This chapter was great. Okay. What a chapter. Ah, Boruto keeps topping itself. This chapter was just phenomenal. Uh, no, I don't have a single complaint this entire chapter. Uh, maybe it took me a little while to understand what's going on around page, like, 23 or 24, but I got it eventually, that's fine. Uh, one thing I want to know, though, Kawaki is now right armless, right? Like, maybe you get, like, a new scientific ninja tool right arm, but going back to the first chapter, do we see his, his arm? Do we see, like, do we see that he's, is missing a right arm? I'm looking through the wiki. Um, um, uh, here, here's the shot of him in the anime I'm looking at right now. And his right side is, has to be carrying that pole we see in the, in the wiki's picture of him. So I'm assuming he gets it back because we see his left arm and it's not holding the pole. And his right arm seems to be being held. So I'm assuming he does, he gets it back somehow. Or maybe we're just going in a completely different direction from what the first chapter uh, implied. I think, um, didn't Gurren Logan do that with a fake out, like, first scene? That was, that was kind of like uh, what it was uh, in the actual show, but wasn't actually. Anyway, uh, what I think this really shows, though, the, the best part from a character writing standpoint of this chapter is Kabuki's development. You know, he's, he's not a happy-go-lucky, you know, shonen protagonist. Um, he's still probably a little darker than, like, part one Sasuke. Uh, he's, certain, he's certainly lighter than part two Sasuke, I'll give him that much. Um, but, like, not quite as friendly as part one Sasuke, but he's, he's, he's slid firmly into Sundere territory right here. You know, he has this whole bit about, like, he, he acts like he protected Himawari. If the Hokage had been hit, it would have been over for us either way, it couldn't be helped. But, like, it's fairly clear that he, cause especially right after that, he mentions the flower vase. He did that for Himawari. You know, we see all throughout this how concerned he is for Himawari. Uh, all throughout the bit where Himawari's almost killed. Um, 
and it really it really does for one once again uh, make me wonder how we're going to get that intro Kawaki uh, later on, which is such like I, I'm I'm saying as I'm saying this I'm realizing what a 180 this is from how I thought like at the beginning of the manga when I just did not give a flying fuck about Kawaki. Now I care so much about this little bastard, all right, and I want him I want him to like have a happy ending. Um, I feel like a happy ending for Kabuki, given what we see in Chapter 1, it might be a little bit too much of a rehash of uh, Sasuke. And I don't want Kabuki to be a rehash of Sasuke. Um, but anyway, anyway, there's not a whole lot to talk about besides that last part, because it's just a lot of fighting. Really good fighting. Uh, as we see, like, Delta's powers, and Delta's technology, and just a whole lot of good shit with Delta. And then there's that Kabuki bit at the very end. Um, but yeah. I was wrong. The fight did not end this month. Uh, next month, we do see that the battle is headed towards its final phase. So if the fight does not end next month, it will end the month after. Definitely. This will not go past April, I imagine. Um, but yeah, this was a great chapter. Another standout Boruto chapter. I'm going to leave this video off here. Hope you all enjoyed the chapter and the video. If you did, feel free to drop me a like or subscribe or do whatever the fuck you want. I don't really care. And as always, people, keep kicking ass and I'll see you in the future. Bye.